it looks like it's going, if I understand course right, it looks like this is going south. It looks like it's going, if I understand course right, it looks like this is going south. You may know him from his own YouTube channel, Going South, although he seems to be going north every time I talk to him. <laughs> channel going south um yes you know we had jeremy Corbyn yeah everything's going south yeah yeah, yeah everything sure. is going, it's all going south. south right yeah right so, it's going so, south but that it's not all or nothing it doesn't mean that it goes south until everything completely vanishes yeah but, but do you think right? which people, many people can easily say that yeah. you know it's all going south there's absolutely okay. nothing we can do well it's been three weeks and it's time for another melt season update and uh, here you go this is the past week up here and well you can basically just see that it's uh, it's still a pretty um, up and down chaotic part of the year with some major refreeze going on in the, at the start of the week and some pretty good melt here to the in the far end of the week and uh, how these days go individually isn't very important uh, they're basically summed up in this weekly figure figure uh, two th 254,000 square kilometers of sea ice extent and so these are the weeks down here and uh, even if you go week by week this is March over here and April here roughly you can see that it's sort of up and down uh, not really decided which season it wants to be but um, in for the April weeks anyway you can see that both this year and in the uh, previous decade you don't have any week that is net zero or net uh, negative uh, so you don't have any net refreeze for any one full week in, in, in April whilst you do have that in uh, in March like here in 2016 and 2012 so so as you um, sum up the days of the week in April even though you have some uh, individual days that are refreezing shown by this dark blue uh, negative number when you when you add them up for the full week, you get a positive number and a, and a net melt of CL's extent. So that's that. Um, and if we look at the weeks compared to these uh, four other years, uh, the only week that uh, 2021 had the biggest uh, melt was last week. Is 300 number 300,000 square kilometers of sea ice extent lost on that week alone uh, but for the other other five weeks uh, the losses were bigger in, in other years before this year um, so, so you can say that there's no clear sign or trend showing that this this is the year this year is going to be uh, far worse than other years when it comes to melting um, that is still up in the air still undecided um, but we'll get a better clue to what is going to happen in when in two weeks from now we'll have the first CIS volume based uh, melt season update because the sea ice volume in the Arctic has peaked now uh, on the 3rd of April so we'll just wait around to have three full weeks of um, sea ice volume losses then there's gonna be another video like this and I know you love these videos because they are so full of facts <laughs> you love facts don't you? you really really love facts and if you didn't know you loved facts you do. Deep down you do love this.
So um, the uh, perhaps most important question that a lot of you will be having is like, uh, why on earth should we follow like CI's numbers day to day or week to week or month to month? Well, uh, it's an it's an important part of your future is decided by what sea ice in the Arctic decides to do. What does it want, want to do? Where does it want to go? That's more important than uh, empty promises on Earth Day from uh, different politicians around the world who say, ah, we, we would like to do this and this and we would like to go net zero by 2080 or whatever nonsense <laughs> they are spewing. Um, the thing is, we crossed the uh, ice tipping point. Um, I think while my grand grandparents they're in their uh, productive age. Uh, so so it's it's like it's not even my generation's fault and not even uh, my parents generation's fault this is down to our grandparents and when they made a choice quote unquote <coughs> to to do this to trigger this uh, runaway ice melt they they didn't even know they had no idea what was going to happen so uh, yeah give cut them some slack if they're still here with us because we, as a humanity, we made this decision generations ago, and we didn't even know most of us what was going, what was happening, and why it was wrong. So it's like it doesn't take away the the blame from humanity, but it's like it's people who didn't know. We were triggering this, uh, so kind of on an individual level, we there without blame in a way. But anyway, so so this is because we triggered this this uh, <coughs> giant row of uh, dominoes that are now falling. What it means is that. Earth itself and the frozen parts of the Earth, uh, the way glacier ice is melting, sea ice is melting, uh, permafrost is melting and or thawing. <coughs> These parts of the Earth are now deciding the future, uh, the climate future, the future of civilization, and the future basically of life on Earth. So it's not in the boardrooms of the NGOs or the boardrooms of the uh, mega corporations or in the United Nations um, sessions for COP or whatever. They're not deciding this. Uh, Earth itself is deciding it by letting more and more dominoes fall after we triggered the fall of all the dominoes with pushing over the first domino 50 to 70 years ago. So yeah, that's why we're following these numbers. That's why we're curious to see if this year is going to go to um, <coughs> go to uh, virtually uh, no sea ice and uh, with all the repercussions and all the uh, ramping up of uh, abrupt global warming that will follow if this is the year that we lose all or most of all the sea ice. So till next time take care everyone and try to find joy and some happiness in simple everyday life and yeah we'll see you already in two weeks now because we're going to start following the sea ice volume every three weeks as well so it's gonna be only two weeks to next time okay bye 
it looks like it's going if i understand course right it looks like this is going south it looks like it's going if i understand course right it looks like this is going south you may know him from his own youtube channel going south Although he seems to be going north every time I talk to him, <laughs> his YouTube channel going south. Um, yes. You know, we had Jeremy. Yeah, Calvin, everything's he's... going south. Yeah, yeah, yeah everything sure. is going south. It's all going south, south right? Yeah. Right, so, it's going so... south, but that it's not all or nothing. It doesn't mean that it goes south until everything completely vanishes. Yeah, but, but do you think right? Which people... many people can easily say that, yeah. you know, it's all going south. There's absolutely okay. nothing we can do.